Greetings everyone and welcome back at last to Rimworld and to the town of Karma. Let me just adjust my microphone there. The colonists are going about their business trying to uh, repair things here and there and also of course bringing in the mad loot from the last attack. Gun, how are you doing over there? Uh, you know, you're all right. You're all right. Not great, but you're all right. De Nichols, could I get you, please, to prioritize building this heater for this room? Then, hmm, Fern, you're unrestricted. Could you go in and get the grenades for me? I'd really like that. Buttercup, you're also unrestricted. Could you perhaps go and bring in the... Uh, they're only 15. I'm not really going to wear that, nor that. Is there anything out there that I really want? The, I mean, the, the helmet. Yeah, bring in the helmet. Becca, could you bring in the gun? Well, the gun isn't really that important, actually. All things said and done. However, Becca, could you go and bring in these? The wake-up. Armus, you're also unrestricted. You're turned into prairie dog, though. Equipping. Uh, why, why have I got you equipping? No, 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 no. Oh, you won't do hauling. Never mind. I'm a derp. Uh, you're cleaning dirt. You can bring them in for me then. <laughs> My lord. Yeah, we want to try and get everything in we can. If we had grenades, this would have been so much easier around here. But for the time being, we do not. And there's no point in worrying about it. Right, okay. So everyone is doing their wee bit of work. Their thing for now. Oshawott, could you work on that for me? That would be great. There we are. Now, has this been given everything? No, De Nichols will be working on it, though. We do have EMP grenades, which is going to afford us the ability to deal with any mechanoids that might be in um, any of the ancient danger rooms. But hopefully, we can get this work done first and foremost. There we are, bringing back stuff. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Gun is fully healed. I am supremely happy about this. You're still on minor um, toxic buildup though, so that needs to needs to be a little while. You're right, kid. Who is destroyed? Yikes. Um, I mean, I could release you. Let's have a look. How hard are you going to be to recruit? You're going to be super hard, so I'm just going to release you as soon as you're well. Uh, how about you? You're not super hard. You should ultimately be recruited before too long. Right, Fern is working on things out here. Fern, um, could we get some of the people buried instead? Uh, has anyone treated Becca? Yes. Plague Miner and Consciousness minus 5%, ma Manipulation minus 5%, next treatment in 11 hours, she's at 39% immunity. Okay, uh, let's actually have a little bit more look at that. Um, pain is plus 20%. Mm, yeah, it's not, not great, not great at all. On the plus side, Carly's making very swift work through here, which is grand. Uh, we've got some potatoes outside. They are not going to survive long enough for what we're going to be doing. I can almost promise that they're not going to be uh, coming back this way, unfortunately. And I'm sorry everyone down there. Um, do you want to let Prairie Dog out? Can Prairie Dog be released? You're, you're in restraints. Have you been released? Um, okay, well, sure. You you just go ahead and, and leave if you can. Could someone please did, did someone build this door? Uh um no, they are still a prisoner, so they just kinda sat there. Right, who's our warden? Who's our negotiator rather? That would be NASA or Becca. NASA, could you No? Hmm. Well that's just odd. That was very odd. If someone could make sure this room is, is warm, though, that would be super amazing, because it's like minus two right now. That is super not amazing. Has this been built? Yes, it has. Fantastic. Let's keep this room reasonably warm. There we go. Starting to get there now with uh, the heating situation. I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll, well... We could put a little heater in this corner if we really wanted to. Um... Ideally, though, it would be better to have this room heated and then just the heat bleeding in here. Uh, yay and nay. Go on, then. Let's let's build that heater for now, though. 
Right, we've got most of this wall done, which is great to see. Let's go ahead and build that out correctly. Uh, we'll go as far as that. Build along. And build up there as well. We'll put in a limestone door down here, though. Have we got this? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Now, to see if the temperature in this room is it's not quite being maintained, unfortunately. We do need another heater. Ah, well. These things will happen. Now, just make sure there are no obvious breaches in the walls that explain that. No. Oh, fantastic. You're getting that up and running. I am super stoked to see that. Excellent. We'll start getting some uh, better research on the go. Now, Connors needs treatment. Becca, I really feel that you should be spending all of your time in bed. And someone should be tending you whenever the time time is right. Because you will you will get better that much faster. You're at 55% immunity. It's only minor. We should be able to sort that out. Um, could someone hold this open for me? Um, gun, could you go through that door? There we go. Thank you. I was wondering if they would just leave on their own, but apparently not. And that's fine. Now, I do need to get some structured walls up here. There, and there, specifically. And there we are. That will then... We'll put vents in, and it'll all be good. So we want a regular vent. Just uh, sinking the heating between these rooms. There we go. Let's get all of that done. The majority of the rest of the work... I mean, I've got plans, but... Uh, as with everything, I'm a little bit strapped for time, a little bit strapped for manpower. Always wait no more. Actually, I've decided that I don't particularly want this area. Sorry about that. Just turn my alarm off. Um, this area... I'm going to take the advice from the comments. We're going to push out a corridor around here instead and have the rooms building off that corridor. Um, I will, however, continue with my original plan to build the walls up around here. There we go. Let's get those done, please. That would be ideal. Sorry, you're going to have this, all this extra work that I've given you there. It's quite annoying. And then let's get this vent in there as well. Exit the map healthy. Relations with the Green Crag people have improved by 15. I am pleased by this. Very pleased. Two colonists are idle. Really? Really, Dinicles? Can you go out? Let's have a look. Yeah, you can go out. So you're unrestricted. And who's the other colonist who's idle? Gun. Neosan on minor. Sorry, Gun, but you're not going out now. What I need from you is to ensure that... Everything else around the colony is fairly good. Now, oh, has this connected to that? Ah, that is unfortunate. Can I reconnect? There we go. So we've reconnected to this wall instead. Now, finally, we can start researching some of the, the stuff that requires a high-tech research bench. We've got the geothermal power. Incendiary IEDs, electric smelting, industrial cooling, industrial heating, simple prosthetics, medicine production, which would be wonderful. Um, moisture pump uh, allows the construction of moisture pumps, which turn wet ground dry. Carpet making, go juice production, uh, which might be interesting. Uh, fire foam, gun turrets, tube television, hydroponics, smithing, brewing, wake up production, devil strand, pemmican, outdoors. Uh, auto door, sorry. <laughs> Psychite refining and passive cooling. Um, of all of these, I'm probably the most interested in geothermal power right now. So let's start work on that. We'll have one of our scientists at all times working towards the end of getting us geothermal power. I am, however, going to need a new light in this room. As a result of all of this, I'm going to have to have a little light right by there so that they're not just sat there in the dark. Right, this wall is going up fairly quickly. I'm glad to see that. Let's continue with building up these walls then. We'll leave a little hole there so they can get out. But then we'll be able to expand all of this across. We're also going to want this to have an explicit roof over it. Oh, no, that's no roof. That is the exact opposite of roof. There we go. And additionally, we are then going to want... 
in fact, we can just pull this wall down because it's so cold outside, it's not going to cause any issue for our food. However, following that, we are going to want... Uh, let's think. Ooh, what's wrong? Minor break risk. Yeah. I'm, Beck is going to get really up unhappy because she's basically sleeping a room in a room where it's constant. She's constantly being interrupted. Would someone please take care of... Be will, will anyone? Oshawott? Please take care of Becca. Oshawott. Um... Who is the doctor? Ah, Armus. Need you to check on Becca. There we are. Thank you, Armus. Let's get that going, please. And then get this wall done as well. There we go. Thank you very much, Armus. And the rest of these walls are done now as well. So this room should be 20. That's almost there. This one's now getting cool colder and colder. So I do need that to be done fairly soon. Gun, if you could prioritize... Oh, no, never mind. Carly's working on that one. Ah, we still got so many bodies just lying around. That does worry me a little bit. Actually, Carly, can you just grab a load of the steel instead? Are you... No? There we are. You're holding 75 steel now. Excellent. Right, but Beck is going to be having a wee bit of trouble because he's constantly going to be being disturbed at the moment. But we are going to expand out this stockpile all the way through this room. We will then get the floors smoothed as well. Smooth these floors out. Like so. And we should be good once that's all done. Unfortunately, people are literally just stood there watching all of this horribleness. Uh, you're back up to mine, aren't you? Oh no, you're still on indoors. You, however, are not. So could I get you... Uh, ra rather urgently to make these graves for us. We need all of them done. Then this one. Then this one as well. Ah, right. Okay. I finally feel that we've recovered enough that we can start working on other things. And those other things mostly involve... Uh, did Nicholas, could you bury some of these people? Let's get them buried. There we are. We don't want them just stinking up the rooms. Especially not the ones that people are working in actively. Lisa, how are you doing? Initial. Uh, could you bury them? NASA, could you bury them? There we go again. Getting a bit of work done now. The Nichols, if you could get them buried. NASA, if you could get them buried. And then I think we've got all of the... No, no, there's still one, one person left who needs to be buried. There we are. Okay, thank goodness we've got the, the bodies out of there. Okay, so we're going to start being able to move all the food in there, which is grand. However, I do feel that we've probably got a little bit more food than we need, frankly. And it's, it's ridiculous how much food we've got. Um, I do need some of these hauled in, though. Uh, and these as well. We desperately need to start getting more limestone brought in. There we go. Uh, we've got any around here? We've got one. Okay, we'll get that one in as well. Uh, Alright, Becca, how are you doing? It's major, but you're at 90% immunity. I think you'll be alright. I certainly hope so. We'll have to see. Oshawa, how how are things going? One colonist is idle. You're just chilling out right now. Okay, let's have a look at everyone's health. You've got initial. Initial. Minor on fern. You need to be... Indoors, then. Armus, you're fine. Initial. Initial, but you're staying in. Minor. On Buttercup, you're now indoors as well. Carly. Minor. The Nichols, initial. Minor. Okay. We'll try and keep people down to minor for the time being. I also need to bring this to the indoor zone, although it isn't indoors strictly. We need it brought under that zone all the same. Right, I think overall, this room should be okay in heat. This room's okay in heat. This room's quite toasty in heat, actually. We'll keep it at 20, though. There we go. Everyone's bringing all the food in. I super duper... Is the roof here? Um... 
lit. Where does it say roofed or not? Stockwell. Thick wall. It doesn't say one way or another. So, how about... Can we... Have they built the roof? They must have, I think. No, they have. There we are. Got these roofs baked. The roofs. There we are. Over there as well. I need all of this. Now that we're actually... Uh, oops. Now that we're actually stop piling things in there, I need the roofs to be made. Otherwise, bad things happen. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Okay. Well, we've got two ancient danger rooms over here. And I think once Becca is up and moving about again, 97%. Becca will be fine. I don't think it's possible that Becca could... Ooh, pirate merchant from Sightmaster's village is approaching. They are a pirate merchant. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger the faction. All right. Uh, let's see. The green crowd people, we're, we're slowly building our relations with them. They've got a bunch of polar bears. How marvellous. I'm quite tempted. Quite tempted. Severe illness. Yeah, that sucks. Let's have a look at you. The plague is up to extreme. You're at 90% immunity. You may survive, you might not, though. Could possibly just sell you to the pirate merchant, honestly. Um, Gun has gotten food poisoning. That is a shame. Right. NASA... Let's go and have a chat with our pirate merchant friends, shall we? Okay, so... They've got... <laughs> might be able to have a breeding pair of polar bears. How... What's the life expectancy? 22. So you're halfway through. Mm hmm. Vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, animal products, meals, liquor, kibble. A great white bear that lives in the far north. Their thick blubber and fur keep them warm in winter. While their usual diet consists of fish and scavenged meat, the polar bear is more than capable of using its massive strength and deadly claws to kill live prey. They are startlingly quick for such lumberingly, lumbering creatures. Minus 80. It's comfortable in. That is, that is amazing. Uh, animal filth rate. Well, they are polar bears, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I'm really tempted, actually. Trainable intelligence. They are advanced, so they could learn to haul and everything else in between. Tempted. Super duper tempted. I'll take one. I'll take two. It's a lot of money. Um, it's an awful lot of money. Smoke leaf. Uh, I, I could sell anything that I have to have. Yayo, I kind of like. We could definitely sell a bunch of just random junk that we got. Uh, unfortunately, they won't take any primitive items. That is a bit of a shame. All right, well, let's get rid of a load of things that are just awful. We don't want them. Panther skin, well. Um, personal shield, yeah, that can go as well. The beaver skin, military fatigues. No, those are staying. Thanks. Um, boom loop leather. I'm not sure what. Uh, it's only 60. Um, we'll keep hold of that. The 50s we'll keep hold of because we're just always in a rough place for clothing right now. Feels like we need to keep hold of it all. All of these, though, need to go. Wow. Yep, all of these. We will keep the grenades. We'll keep one shotgun at the very least. Um, start getting rid of the poor guns. The machine pistols, oh, I'm tempted to keep those ones, I'll be honest with you. Get rid of the shoddy pistol, shotgun, the peelers can go, the short bows are an automatic go. Um, that can go as well. Yeah, we're not going to have enough money, not even close. I was really hoping that we'd be able to make enough money. Alas. Alas, alas, alas. It's not going to be the way it is. We can't sell food, which is the, the killer here. Because I would happily have, have uh, divested us of, of that. But, uh, oh well. I guess we're not getting a polar bear then. That is a shame. Uh, buy some goat juice, but not interested right now. We can at least use this to get rid of a bunch of things that we just don't want to have around the colony, though. And that's good. Sure, I think that's good enough. You go ahead. We'll take all of that. And uh, we'll bring in the 235 silver. There we go. Donk. Excellent. 
Right, we've got the wound set up. Excellent. Need warm clothes. Becca, have you... Oh, there we are. Developed immunity. Hooray! Super duper hooray. My lord. Right, well, Becca, your bed is up there. I really shouldn't have had you sit down. There we go. Becca, wake up. Go to your own room. Or do whatever. Probably stupid hungry, yeah. Right, winter has properly begun. Now it gets hard. Now it's genuinely going to be hard for us to keep our colonists even remotely warm. Um, all right. So, what we want to do next, then, is prepare for the attack. I think that's going to be a very important one. Uh, we've got some clothes around there. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of just random odds and sods around. The parkers, specifically, are they all, like, busted up? Yeah, they're all kind of at a very low stage. Um, okay, Oshawott, we're deconstructing that. You can go about do other things. Yeah, hauling is definitely one of them. Thank you very much. We've got loads more room. We are not going to have any issue with our food. No issue at all. Um, given that, I would actually like to have more meals. We'll put this up to 30 meals, and they should come and start working on that whenever the meal count drops below 10. Just keep working through it. There we go. A couple of people just chilling out. Okay, right. Let's have a quick recap of people's health. You're on initial. That is amazing. You've also got food poisoning. That is not. Uh, you are a minor. You're on initial. So we can put you back to unrestricted. Uh, you're fine. You've got your right index finger cut off. So, you know, not fine. Back on initial. Initial. And... Okay. As soon as people wake up... We're heading out. We have got an awful lot of stuff we need to do. An awful, awful lot of stuff we need to do. It is not going to be easy for us to uh, take out these danger rooms, but as soon as the rest of the colonists are awake, it should be safe for us to go out and give it a shot. Ooh. Flake. What is this stuff? A flaky substance that can be smoked to induce a short but powerful euphoric state. While it is cheap to produce, it's exceptionally addictive. 20%. Ouch. Go grab all of this stuff. Bring it in. We might be able to sell it to the pirates. I imagine they have an appreciation for it. There we go. Let's get all these walls done. Right, okay. We know where we wanted to place our wall here was basically opposite that area and then we would get a steel door there as well. Once all of that's done, then this place will be uh, properly sealed off and can be considered indoors from that point on. Excellent work. And you're just getting the uh, walls laid down. Let's go. Thank you very much, Gun. Then, of course, the other wall down here we also want. Steel door there. Steel door there and there. And walls around them. There we go. Well, actually, that being said, this was really effective, but I've got plans. I've got plans for that. Uh, no longer incapable of walking. Excellent. So you did develop your immunity. You did survive. I'm super, super pleased with that, actually. Super please. Okay, makeshift fuse. One of your machines has broken down. It won't work until a colonist repairs it. Well, that's just annoying. It's a bloody fuse box. How annoying. That is not what how it tells you that it, it prevented an explosion, by the way. It will it will it'll react in a very different way. Right, okay, I think we're more or less ready to go and have our fight. Uh Let's get everyone up there. Um, though, on the way, Becca, just in case, equip the EMPs. Lisa, no. Um, Carly, maybe? Carly, grab the frags. There we go. And up you come. It's going to be close quarters. Alright, everyone is over here. Now. 
Who's the best constructor? I think it's probably going to be... Carly's actually got a 14. Carly is the best constructor. Okay. It's not going to be Carly, though. It's going to be Gun. Uh, yeah, I'll let Gun finish eating. There we are. Right, good. Deconstruct this and be ready. Nope. There we go. It is... Ooh, 10 Luciferium. Super amazing. Okay. Becca. Need this dropped right there. Try not to ruin that thing, actually. Fern, step up. Oshawa, step up. De Nichols, in position. Gun, be ready. Get down there. You there. You can step there, I guess. Good. Excellent. Carly, pull back. Don't need you to be doing this. Oshawa, move in. Fern, move in. The Nichols. Actually, honestly. You two stay there. You can be over there. Armas. Lisa, I don't want you attacking yet. Oh dear. That's right, just keep going. There we go. Sorted. That was easy. My lord. Look at that. We have been saved. So good. And we've got two Crypto Sleep Caskets as well. Right, okay. So what I want then... Everyone... Um, no, we're not ready to stop yet. I want... I want everyone to kind of be ready to eliminate anyone who causes us issues. You can be all the way back there, Armas, Lisa... Get into position, everyone. There we go. That was fantastic. You can be over there because ultimately, if this goes south, I need you to be ready. Oshawott, are you a fast walker? Yeah, you are. Oshawott, I want... Damn it, Oshawott. Okay, fine. All right, no, no, no. Oshawott, I want you to open this casket. Go ahead. Husky joins. <gasps> A group of huskies, abandoned or lost, have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Three huskies! Tiny! Have we got Smaug? This is amazing. A tiny Smaug thief. Uh, sneak, rather. This is super good. <laughs> oh, my lord. Right, I, I do need to be in home for now. Just go home. Ah, this, this episode is turning out to be amazing. Right, ouch. That is not, though. So what I need from you is to mega run. Go, 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 run. Ah, uh, Oshawott. No, no, this is bad times. Why? This is so bad. Oshawott, keep moving. Oshawott, how badly are you hurt? You're actually not that badly hurt. Go here. As soon as they pop out, wipe them out, please. Uh, no. Carly, pull back. We'll easily be able to get through here. Uh, okay, we win. Oshawa, you all right? Yeah, you're fine. It was just a scratch. That was amazing, everyone. You are all super amazing cool. This one automatically opened because we opened both of them, so we do now have Crypto Sleep Caskets. However, the other thing is that we are not going to need them for a lot longer. A lot longer. I'm going to have to check over Oshawott's, um uh, restrictions. Uh, let's have a look at... Sorry. Uh, signs of Devil's Bargain. Yeah, so Oshawott takes a dose of Luciferium every day. Oshawott, could you hold those back for me? That's the main thing I would like you to do right now. And also, I want everything um, brought under us. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. That's rather amazing. Carly, if you could... You can't. Um, could you hold the Scyther? Could you hold the Insanity Lance? Fern, if you could haul... Uh, NASA, if you could haul the pump shotgun. And you could haul the good SMG. Wow. We are super lucky. Super duper lucky. Actually. Hmm. Lisa, after you're done, you can grab the... Uh, class deal. So yes. That, as far as things go, was bloody amazing. All things considered, 
Bloody amazing. But that is going to be it for this episode. Oh, dear. Did Nicholas start a fight, a fight with Buttercup? Reason rebuffed me? Really? The Nichols was insulted by Buttercup. This drove the Nichols into a rage, and he began a fist fight. So she wasn't interested. So you started beating her up. I'm not even going to comment on that, but I am go going to deal. The Nichols, you better not be about to shoot her. Everyone, uh, see, arresting the Nichols. Yeah, try and arrest him. Come back here, you. Or is it stopped now? Hmm. I'm actually tempted to arrest you anyway. You scoundrel. Scoundrel! Are you alright, Buttercup? <sighs> Let's have a quick look at your needs, though. Rebuffed by Buttercup twice. Observed a rotting corpse. Insulted ugly environment. Sick low expectation. Yeah, I hope you're bloody feeling terrible, but I strongly suspect that's not why. Ah, uh, no, I, I... No. No. Nope, 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 nope. Into jail with you. We will consider whether we're going to accept you back in the colony later on. That option is down to Buttercup. So, Buttercup, let me know in the comments. Does the Nichols get another chance? Or are we just going to exile him? We're obviously not going to, you know, murder him. That's a little bit too far. But, uh, yes. Not best, please, the Nichols. My lord, you scallywag. You are now a prisoner. It would be 66% chance to... 66% um, uh, difficulty. We'll, we'll talk with you. Friendly chat is, is a bit bit over the top, I think. You, you, you get a kind of cold shoulder from the rest of the colonists, but I don't know. You've got some friends here, you scallywag. But that's going to be it from me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am very happy. Oshawott is now more or less safe for quite a while. Ten doses. In fact, I think we've got eleven in total. It's going to last him for 55 days. It's a good, good amount, but realistically 50, because on the last dose, I will send him to the Crypto Sleep Cassocks. But we now have a reserve plan so that Oshawott is not at risk of death, maybe? But anyway, I hope you will be joining me for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, take care, everyone.